everybody and welcome to room 9. My name is Miss St. Louis and I'm a teacher at Rogers Elementary School in the Melville School District and we are located in South St. Louis County. Today I'm here to teach a math lesson for students in grades pre-k through second but all learners are welcome to join us. So let's get started. Today we're going to begin with a little race. So I'm going to bring in my whiteboard and on my whiteboard I have already created a number line with the numbers from 0 all the way to 10. And today my pieces that I'm going to be using are a green and blue dot. Now the goal of this game is to get all the way from the beginning of my number line to the end down here at 10. So this game can be played with two players. Player 1 is blue and player 2 is green. Your goal, to get to the end first. So we're going to be using a dice to help us move along our number line. So I'm gonna roll the dice and I'm going to move that number of spaces, that amount of lines, to follow and reach the end. You ready? All right, I'm gonna roll my dice. I got a one. So my blue is going to move one. All right, next. Two. Green is going to move. One, two. All right. Again. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see. Green got five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we have a tie right now. Let's see what happens. Two. One, two, two, one, two, we're still tied. Who do you think's gonna win? Blue or green? Rolling our dice. And blue gets a six. Ten. Wow, we're at the end. Way to go, blue. Give a big round of applause to blue. Excellent. Okay, using a race like this can really help us to practice our counting skills. So one way that you can do this game at home is you could create your own number line on a piece of paper or even outside using chalk. And then you can, and a partner or a mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or aunt or uncle or cousin or somebody can play with you. And if you make this outside on a number line with chalk, you can even use yourself as your playing piece and jump from line to line. All right. So that's a great way for you to practice your counting skills and have a little bit of fun. But today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about our counting forwards. Are you ready? Let's go. All right guys, so in today's lesson, we're going to be focusing on counting, more specifically counting forwards. Here's our goal statement for today. I can count forwards from a given number up to 120. So what that means is that we can count starting at a number anywhere between zero and 120 and keep on counting forwards. So we're gonna use a special tool today to help us learn how to count forwards. And that tool is this. It's called a wreck and wreck. This wreck and wreck has these red and white little beads and they slide to make different numbers. So we're gonna read our wreck and wreck over here on this side, all right? We're gonna read the number that we make. Now when we count forwards, we count one by one, object by object, or in this case, we're gonna count bead by bead. So here's our first bead. We're gonna put it over here. We have one bead, say it with me, one, okay? But if I keep going, I'm gonna slide my next one. Now I have two beads. One, two. All right. Here's my next one. One, two, three. And my next one. One, two, three, four. And last. One, two, three, four, five. There are five red beads in this very first row. That means that when I look at all of my red put together, if I just slid all the red over, I know that that equals five. That's a little bit of our subitizing skills. 
Remember that subitizing means that I can look at a number of objects and know how many there are without having to count. So we're going to combine a little bit of subitizing with our counting today. So I have one, two, three, four, five red beads. Let's keep going. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six beads. Let's add another one. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I now have seven beads. So each time we count, we're going to add a bead each time. You ready? Let's add another one. All right, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight beads. Let's keep going. We're going to finish this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's add our last one. Let's see how many we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten beads all together. So this very first row has ten beads. Wow, that's a lot. All right, let's practice counting them all together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So we've counted all of our beads in the very first row. Now, remember, part of our goal was that we can count on from any given number. Sometimes you're not always going to start with zero and then keep going. You might start with a number already and have to add on to that number. So how many beads do you see over here? That's right, there's three. One, two, three. So if I have three beads, I'm gonna have to start counting starting at three. So I have three and I'm gonna count on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. That was awesome. All right, let's look at this second row down here. What if I had to count some of these? How many did we say were on the very first row? That's right, there's ten beads on the very first row. So now I'm going to keep counting and add on my beads from the bottom row. So I had ten. My next bead is going to be eleven. Then I'm going to have one more. Twelve. So I have eleven, twelve. Keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, I'm done with my bread. Let's add those white. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Almost there. 11, 10, 11, 12. My bad. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ooh, let's do this. We can do it. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Last bead. Count with me. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We have counted all the beads. Excellent job. But let's do it one more time. All the way from the top. We're going to count both rows of beads. Are you ready to count with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, keep going. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent job counting. Give yourself a round of applause, pat on the back. Very good. So as we count, we count object by object. Now I wanna show you something else. Another tool that we use when we count are blocks. We count block by block, right? We have one block, two blocks, three blocks, and we can keep going. But I wanna show you how this looks, all right? Each time we count, we add on one more block. So here's one block. Then we get to two blocks and three blocks and four blocks and five blocks. But we're not done yet. And six blocks and seven blocks eight blocks. Oop, next one doesn't want to come. Nine blocks and 10 blocks. Take a look at that. What do you notice looking at our blocks? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What happens as we move up our set of stairs? That's right, each time we move up our set of stairs, we're adding a new block each time. So it's getting one higher each and every single time. Because as we count forwards, we're taking one step forward. We're moving up our numbers. So our numbers are getting bigger, right? I wanna have 10 pieces of chocolate, not just one. I wanna have the bigger number, I'm moving forward moving up. So my numbers are going to get bigger. And if I kept this going, my staircase could go super high up because each time I counted, I would add one more block. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. But we use counting all the time, every single day, right? So are you ready to give it a shot in a little bit of a workout? Let's give that a try. All right, guys, are you ready to do our workout? All right, I know that you are. Here's how this is gonna work. We are going to do a variety of different exercises and activities. And as we do these exercises and activities, we're going to be counting. We're gonna start at one number and end at another number. And we're gonna end up counting all the way from zero to 120. So a lot of numbers and we have just a little bit of time to get it done, but I know that you can do it. So for each set, we're gonna do a different activity or skill, all right? And as we count them out, we're gonna be counting one by one, number by number. Are you ready to get started? All right, now before we start our exercises, make sure that you're in a space where you're not gonna hit a neighbor, okay? Where you're not gonna accidentally run into anything next to you. You wanna have room for your arms and you wanna have room for your legs to move, all right? Are you ready? All right, this first one that we're gonna do, we're gonna start at zero and we're gonna go all the way to five and we're going to balance on our left foot. That means we're going to lift up our right foot in the air and we're gonna hold it up there and we're gonna count from zero to five. Just put it down. Are you ready? Okay, bring that foot up, zero, one, Two, three, four, five. Put it down. All right, excellent job. You ready for the next one? All right, this time we're going to balance on our right foot. We're gonna lift our left foot up in the air and we're gonna count from five all the way to 10. Are you ready? Lift that foot up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Excellent job, you can put that foot down. Give your legs a little bit of a rest. All right, we're gonna work on our arms now. This time we're gonna count all the way from 10 to 15. And we're gonna take our arm and we're gonna circle both our arms and we're gonna circle them forward. Are you ready? From 10 to 15, let's go. 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very good. All right, this next exercise, we are going to bring our arms backwards. All right, we're going to count all the way from 15 to 20 while we bring our arms backwards. Are you ready? All right, 15 to 20, let's go. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent job. All right, our bodies are warmed up. You should probably feel your heart rate rising a little bit. Can you feel it? I know you can. All right, let's keep going. Next up, we're going to do just some straight jumps up in the air. All right, we're gonna count as we do our jumps all the way from 20 to 30. So we're gonna do a little bit of a bigger number span as we count. Are you ready? All right, 20 to 30, let's go. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Excellent job, all right. Next up, we are gonna hop on one foot. Okay, we're gonna lift one foot up. We're gonna hop. This time we're gonna count from 30 to 35. Are you ready? Okay, so we're just gonna stay on one foot as we count. 30 to 35, you ready? Let's go. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. All right, go ahead and put your foot down. All right, other foot, bring it up. 35 to 40, are you ready? Set, let's go. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Bring that foot down. Ooh, I almost fell over there. How are you guys doing? Awesome, glad to hear it. All right, next up. We are gonna count all the way from 40 to 50 as we're kicking in the air. Now, it's important that when we do our kicks, we're not aiming our feet at anybody. We're not aiming our feet at any furniture because we don't want to accidentally hurt ourselves or hurt somebody else, all right? 40 to 50, ready? 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Excellent job. All right, let's keep going. Next up, we're going to do some jumping jacks. We're going to do our jumping jacks as we count from 50 to 60. Each jumping jack is one number. You ready? Let's go. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Go ahead and stop there. All right, we're halfway through, which is awesome. So let's take a little second. Let's take deep breaths. Deep breath in. And out, bring your arms down. Again, deep breath in. And bring it out. Reach down, try and touch your toes. Come back up, reach stretch to one side. Good, stretch to the other side. All right, if you're ready to finish this up, let's go. We are halfway there. That means we only have half left to go. All right, we are going to do some punches now. We're gonna count from 60 all the way to 70 as we are punching with our arms. Are you ready? Okay, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Good job, go ahead and stop that. Next up, we're going to do high knees. That means that we're going to bring our knees high up in front of us. And we're gonna count all the way from 70 to 80. You ready? Let's go, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Very good. 
Next up, we are going to be doing some squats. Okay, when we do a squat, that means that we act like we're sitting down in the chair. We're not really though, because there's an invisible chair behind us. We're gonna count all the way from 80 to 90. Are you ready? All right. 80. 81. 82. 83. 84. 85. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Very good. All right, this next one is going to require you to find a wall. We're going to do a wall sit. We're going to hold it for 10 whole seconds. We're going to count from 90 to 100. So what you're going to do is you're going to lean up against the wall and you're going to sit against it. So your legs are actually going to be a little bit farther away from the wall. Are you ready? Let's find our position. We're going to sit down. All right. And we're going to count all the way from 90 to 100. Let's go. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Come on up. Excellent job, guys. You're doing great. We are almost done. All right. Next up, we're going to do some lunges. So each time we're going to switch legs, we're going to bring that leg forwards. We're going to lunge down and come back up. This time we're going to be counting all the way from 100 to 110. Are you ready? So 100. Switch the legs. 101. 102. 103. 104. 105. 106. 107. 108. 109. 110. Excellent job. All right. Last exercise for us of the day. We're going to be running in place. As we run in place, we're going to count all the way from 110 to that finish line of 120. Are you ready? Let's do this. 110. 111. 112. 113. 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. Excellent job. Give yourself a nice little pat on the back. Now as we finish this, let's take some more deep breaths in. Deep breath in. And let it out. Again, in and out and in and out. We're going to take a quick little minute. We're going to do some mindfulness. Now, mindfulness is a time when we get to think and breathe to ourselves. It's a time for you to get some positive thoughts. So what I want you to do is you can sit or stand comfortably. And I want you to work on taking some deep breaths in. You can close your eyes and just listen to my voice. So deep breaths in and out and in and out. And now as you're breathing, I just want you to think about all the hard work that you have done today and all the learning that you have been doing because I know that learning from home hasn't been the easiest, but you have been working so hard and I am proud of you for how hard you're working and your teachers are proud of you for how hard you're working and your family is proud of you for how hard that you're working and everyone around you is so proud of all the hard work that you are putting not only into your schoolwork, 
but also into your relationships with those people around you and into the positive and kind vibes that you are giving out to everyone because we know that you only want the best for those people around you. So as we finish up, take another deep breath in and out and open your eyes. So one thing we want you guys to always remember is that you are amazing, you are doing your best, and that's all that we can ask for. So we're so proud of you. All right, but back to math for a little bit. Let's talk about our I can statement for today. Today, our goal was that I can count forwards from a given number all the way up to 120. Do you think that we were able to accomplish that goal today? Yeah, I think so too. One thing that's really important to remember when counting is that we're gonna count step by step. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. Use things around you to help. You have manipulatives, right? That's any kind of object that you have around your house. You also have your fingers and even your toes that can help you. So that they can help you to count one by one. And remember, when we count, we can start anywhere. We can start at zero or we can start at five and keep counting on. And today as we worked out, you showed me how well that you can count, all right? So I'm so glad that you were able to join us today and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye guys.